Welcome to the training video for Altagen's MaxAgent software. MaxAgent is an optional component of your Max Communication server that provides access to workgroup specific functionality, including queue monitoring and access to group voicemail. MaxAgent shares much of its look and feel with Max Communicator. The previously released Introduction to Max Communicator training video will teach you the basics of call handling and tab usage. If you are unfamiliar with Max Communicator, please watch the introduction video first. After this video, you will be given a location to download the Max Agent manual should you have any additional questions. By default, Max Agent will run automatically when you log in to your computer. Should you need to run it manually, just click on Start, Programs, select the Max Agent folder, and then click on the Max Agent icon. After logging into Max Agent, you'll be prompted to log in or log out of any groups that you belong to. Check the box next to the group name to log in, or uncheck the box to log out. To set your outbound work group for call reporting or recording purposes, select it from the drop down menu. If you're logging out of a group, you can select the logout reason below. Click OK to continue. This is the main Max Agent window. We'll start with the tabbed pages in the middle that are specific to Max Agent. First, we have the Performance tab. This provides a summary of your daily inbound and outbound calls, separated by group. The first column, Total, displays all call activity since midnight. The next column, Direct Call, displays call activity for calls made and received by your extension directly, without any work groups involved. Finally, a separate column will be displayed for each work group that you're a member of. Just like the other tabs, Columns can be added or removed by right-clicking on the column name. If you want to rearrange the order of the columns, just drag them over each other. Also note that you can print the contents of this tab or export to a spreadsheet using the buttons at the bottom. The first three rows display the workgroup login time, logout time, and total amount of time logged in. Below that, you'll see the amount of time you spent in the Not Ready and DND states. Next are statistics for inbound calls, including the number of calls answered, total talk time, and average talk time. Remember, each column may have a different value to reflect calls specific to a particular group. You'll see the statistics repeated for outbound calls below. Wrap-up time is displayed next. If defined by your administrator, you will have a period of time after you finish a workgroup call before another workgroup call rings your phone. The rows here track the number of times your extension was in wrap-up, along with the total and average wrap-up time. Finally, you can see statistics for calls you placed on hold. The next item we're going to cover is the Workgroup Voicemail tab. The functionality of this tab is the same as the voicemail tab in Max Communicator, but allows you to see voicemail left for a workgroup instead. Note that there are two voicemail tabs in Max Agent. This tab, Workgroup Voicemail, and the Voicemail tab, which allows you to view the personal voicemail left for your extension. In order to view workgroup voicemail, you must be logged in to a workgroup. The Workgroup Queue tab is a real-time view of callers in queue across all workgroups that you are a member of. 
The ID column is an identifier for each call in queue. Note that the identifier is unique within each group, but may be repeated in this tab if you are a member of multiple groups. The group column displays the name of the group the caller is waiting for. Queue time shows you how long a caller has been waiting in queue. You'll see the length of time that a queue call has been at its current priority level in the Priority Queue Time column. Next, the caller ID, caller name, and number dialed are displayed if the information is available. Call priority is displayed next, with 10 being the lowest priority and 1 being the highest. Queue priority can be changed either manually or automatically based on options set by your administrator. The SKLR column displays the skill level requirement needed to accept this call. If your administrator has enabled skills based routing, you will be provided with more information. Otherwise, this data in this column can be safely ignored. Note that you can print the contents of this tab or export to a spreadsheet using the buttons at the bottom. In addition, you can pick up a specific call in queue by highlighting the call and clicking the Pick Up button. You must be logged into the group before picking up a call from queue. The last tab we're going to cover is the Workgroup Status tab. This tab displays a real-time overview of all workgroups that you are a member of. While the previous tab allowed you to see individual calls in each group, this tab provides overview information and group statistics. The first two columns display the workgroup number and name. The next column shows whether you are logged in or out of the group. The CIQ column displays how many calls are currently in a workgroup queue. And the next column displays how many calls in queue have exceeded the service level threshold. The service level is set for each workgroup by your administrator. This column is helpful to determine what queues may need assistance with handling calls. The Longest QT column shows the longest time that a call has been in queue for each workgroup. New VM displays how many new voicemail messages have been left for each workgroup. The next four columns show workgroup agent information. You can see how many agents are logged in to each workgroup using the Logged In column, as well as the number of agents that are currently on the phone using the Busy column. The Unavailable column displays the agents that are logged in, but not taking workgroup calls. Agents can be unavailable if they're in a not ready or wrap up state. The Idle column shows agents that are logged in and available to take a workgroup call. The final column, Service Level Percent, displays the number of calls answered within the service levels during a set period of time. This option is controlled by your administrator. Now that we've covered the new tabs, we'll move on to the other features specific to Max Agent. The Login button at the top of the window allows you to log in or log out of workgroups using the same interface you saw at the beginning of this video when Max Agent was launched. Remember, you just check the box next to the group name to log in, or uncheck the box to log out. To set your outbound workgroup for call reporting or recording purposes, select it from the drop down menu. If you are logging out of a group, you can select the logout reason below. Click OK to continue. Once you're logged into a group, you can set your status to Ready or Not Ready by using the button at the top right hand corner of the window. The button will display your current status green for Ready. Red for Not Ready. Just left click once to change your status.
When not ready is enabled, workgroup calls will not be routed to your extension. All other calls will still be routed normally. The only calls prevented from ringing your extension are workgroup calls. Your administrator can configure each workgroup to have wrap-up time. If wrap-up is enabled on a group, workgroup calls will not be routed to your extension while wrap-up is active. Wrap-up is triggered after you hang up an inbound or outbound workgroup call. Remember, your outbound workgroup is set by using the login button. Wrap-up time can range from a few seconds to a few minutes. If wrap-up is active, you'll see a notification to the right of your activity greeting. You can view additional information on inbound calls by using the IVR data and user data columns available in MaxAgent. If configured by your administrator, these fields can provide helpful information about an inbound call, such as an account number or customer identifier. In addition, it's possible to add notes when you're talking with an inbound caller. Just click in the User Data field, add your notes, and click OK. These notes will stay with the call and will be displayed to another agent if you transfer the caller. This concludes the Max Agent training video. Should you require additional assistance with Max Agent, access the help file by clicking on the question mark icon, then the help button. You can also find the complete Max Agent manual online at www.altogen.com. Click on Customer and then Latest Product Manuals.